time my beautiful scorpio welcome to my channel my name is natasha goddess of life 1111 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning subscribers welcome back this reading is for my lovely beautiful scorpio sun moon rising venus and jupiter thank you god thank you universe universal energy my ancestor my spirit god the pure white light i can do michael ascended masters please give my lovely beautiful Scorpio, a clear, precise, honest message. Thank you, thank you. This is a new moon reading. The new moon in Pisces. So we're gonna check on the uh, on the new moon. What should we focus on? Who's coming toward you? And what is the outcome? Okay, so let's do this. This is a general reading. I won't resonate with everyone. If this reading is not resonate with you, please check out your other chart placement for more clarity. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you to all my Scorpion that are subscribed, that are like, share, and supporting my channel. I am grateful and I am thankful for all of your support. All right, Scorpio, let's give the show the reading. I'm sending lots of love, light, and blessing to you. Okay, you and your loved one are safe. No moon and cancer. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Cancerian. So what they say here, you and your loved one are safe. There is nothing to worry about and stuff like that. Continue doing whatever you are doing. Focus on your loved one. So beautiful energy that coming towards you. Conclusion, I within reach. Within the full moon eclipse and stuff like that, you're going to discover some stuff some hidden secrets but at the moment there's uh, something i feel like there was something that will come out and this is something you are might not expect it so you know but what they're saying here you and your loved one are safe so why right, may i please have to request for my stop yo okay <laughs> Well, what I'm feeling here for you, Scorpio, there might be something you expect to come to fruition, but it's one-sided. I'm just being honest, you know, because have faith in your dream, waxing crescent moon. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking at here and stuff, there was dark, there was gray and things like that. And then eventually things transform, things, be, you know, blossoming, things, it's grow. But whatever you are, you know what I'm saying, you are expected to happen. It might not be going the way you expecting it to. It might not be going the way you expected. Okay. Am I going to be one sided? You know, this is you're gonna have to watch because they have faith, and I felt like I don't even think like either whomever you dealing with or you someone is doesn't believe this is gonna come to fruition to transform into this beautiful, you know, blossoming butterfly here. So wow. Okay. Thank you, spirit. May I have two more cards for my Scorpio? Two more. Two more cards, please, for my Scorpio. Oh. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. What I'm feeling here with these cards, this flow and a reverse and stuff like that, it's almost like you want straight, you know, there was no balancing, no spirituality, no practicality. Not not what you know, you're not feeling the balance when it's come to, you know, materialist materialize in your life in spirituality. There was none of that going on. That's what I'm feeling here. Because, you know, with this and stuff like that, you balance, you try to balance this spirituality and practicality with the full moon and Pisces and stuff like that. You know, it's like, mm, I don't care. You know, I don't really care about, you know, there was no balance in, in your life and current for some of you, uh, Scorpio. This is not balance. Your practicality, which is that, you know, your finance, you know what I'm saying? Um, taking self, you know, taking, um, taking care of self, you know, that's practicality when it's come, you know, spirituality, you know, 
feeling uh, grounded financially and things like that i feel like there is not this is it's not going well in spot and spirituality there is none of that going on either is there is no meditation there's no praying there's no ancestors you know like you're like whatever with this i don't care about none of this stuff so it's just like because there was none of you know because, oh my goodness so many cards spirit just one please because of there's no uh, balance in your life so things it might not be that's what have fit in your dream that's what this might not be going the way you want it because you know there's some unbalance going on so we're gonna take those two cards a time for healing see what i'm saying i just said it so you know this is because there's no healing spiritually there's no none of that going on and stuff like that because you're like you know i don't really care about you know god i don't really believe in god or i don't want you know i don't focus on doing the right thing who cares about that so because of that it's also because you know it take one for the other to balance so if there was no spirituality you can be more focused on your finance at least there will be some you know you'll be like okay i am more focused in your my um you know my addiction would be my you know to make money but there's neither going on so the other one is the personal issue which is resolution full moon and cancer like i say you could be dealing with a cancerian and it's because this is the second card that's coming in cancer but there's time for healings here there's things that you can do to balance your life i would see but one one outcome is forecast full moon in libra but so we're talking about libra season here so that's all the way you know we got a long ways for that by the time you realize that prosperity lies ahead so you're gonna have some work to do for my beautiful scorpion so take this chance i'm gonna be honest take this time doing this full moon and i'm gonna put this right here well i don't know why this keeps it because there's a keep it so take this time to looking at things in different perspective doing the new moon you know try to do some healings try to do you know some meditation try to manifest something you know at least and stuff like that i don't know do some healings <laughs> so May I have three cards, please, for my Scorpio? What should Scorpio focus on, Spirit? What should Scorpio focus on? Change. All I'm hearing here with the Wheel of Fortune that just said change. That change is a necessity. That change, the universe is literally, I feel like, almost like begging you. I mean... This is the universe we're talking about here. Don't have to begging nobody to do anything if they don't want to. But they're asking you here. This change is a necessity. It is detrimental to your livelihood here. Two more cards, please, for what scope you should focus on. Mm. Release. Stop feeling guarded. Stop being protected, stop, you know, released. That's what I'm feeling in here. One more cards, please. Yeah, putting it in into a situation here because it, it's sideways. Whatever this is you are holding on to is sideways. They're asking you here to put an end to this. Put an end to this. I feel like you are waiting patiently, but they're asking you change, release, Putting the ends to this. Let's see what's this. You see, Ace of Pentacles. Once you can balance this energy, once you're healing, the universe is going to hand you a gift. But there was some healings and balancing that need to be having. Because whatever this is and stuff like that, there could be some um, money issues that are keeping you stuck in your head that can keep you from sleeping. You could have like money issues and stuff, but they're asking you for healing here all right let's see who's coming towards scorpio who's coming towards scorpio <laughs> where you got yeah the wall and ending there was a ending that's coming towards you and there might be something you're not seeing because you are focused on holding two things people places and things who's not serving you your highest good you could be dealing with a fixed sign also but look at that the knight of cups you know can surprise the scorpio energy here so you are going to offer you know whatever this you offer this you know someone here it could be you know this love affair here 
but they told you there's gonna be something ending there's something that's in it there's a cycle here that's need to be in it's going to end because this is change 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 your transformation you transform other people's lives so this is time for you to start changing your lives that's what they're asking you here one more who's coming towards my beautiful um scorpio look at that stability wow beautiful you know happiness joy stability but you have to willing to let something in here four of ones this is aries energy so you there's a love offer but i feel like you have to let something die you have to let something in in order for you to have this celebration this joy and happiness but another what i'm saying is that the universe say you know you have to change your ways you have to change whatever this is going on for you with these three cards up here this is yours you have to change because you could have like let me see toe scorpio leo aquarius one of of these people that's you know that's need to be in here and this in this cycle these are the people that these are things that need to be in because there's a love offer here uh for four for one celebration happiness happy life happy wife and stuff like that and the a love when new love offer that's coming for you um could be with a um a twin flame someone that you consider that but there's communication for you and there will be balance and bring in the situation i feel like you are protected judgment look at that some shoot and clarity is about to come out whether you like it or not yeah wow beautiful okay let's clarify the world please can you please clarify the world for my scorpio yeah have strength i know this is hard it could be very hard for you to just you know be like oh i'm you know i'm gonna hold on to this i don't want to let it go but they say that you have the courage and have strength in yourself and stuff like that to make the right decision you do you make the right decision for you clarify the strength card please you know i don't know your life but you can make the decision there's communication whatever this is for you that's gonna bring this situation um uh, page of voice some truth someone is also you know could be watching this and stuff but i feel like you you are reserved guarded and stuff like that you know like i don't want to do this and stuff like that but i don't think you're gonna have much of a choice because the universe speak clarify the wheel of fortune here news of emotions yeah you gotta change your thought process you gotta change how you think you know secrets the moon yeah you i feel like you could be you know there's someone in here that you need to uh okay hold on clarify the moon there's some emotion someone you're holding on to a an aquarius so you could be um you know the secret is and stuff like that you want some healings I've, but like i feel like you are confusing when it's come to an aquarius here so if you are confusing it about an aquarius the universe is gonna make help you make some decision here yeah look at that the knight of wands and the knight of wands just flew out and stuff it was leo sagittarius this is a leo energy both just flew out like you've been extremely patient in this situation because you expect something to work out and stuff like that but whatever this you know this energy there's like you wishing um wish upon the star here for you know a, an aquarius you could be love you could be in love with an aquarius here <laughs> and this is a secret you know you confuse also clarify the death card please yeah what what is it going to happen is that with the death card with six that's clarified the six of pentacles in the reverse you could be in a relationship that's not gonna be even it's not gonna be balanced remember what they say right here i mean this cannot say anything more it's time for you to balance practicality and you know <laughs> and spirituality 
this is something I feel like you're not going to see coming. Whatever this relationship, this, you know, there's not going to be what you're expecting. This giving and receiving is not happening. That's what you're getting the death card. That's what you need to transfer the situation. It's not going to happen. You're not getting giving. There's no giving and receiving here. This is one-sided. I've been saying that whatever the situation, you might think it, you might not see it and stuff because you are blind and bad, you know, but I feel like someone in here, Scorpio, feel like you are the star. It could be a cancer Pisces, but whomever this person is here, they feel like you are the star. Mm -hmm. You are the star. You are their wish. So for the Knight of Cups, Queen of Materials. Yeah, this is a Taurus. So <laughs> you are going to um, offer a Taurus a love offer. Queen of Pentacles. This person is currently doing some healings. But this is someone you are about to go offer a love offer. But there's an Aquarius. Uh, you know, there's a Pisces or Cancer that say that you are the wish. And there's some healing. This person wants to do some healing works with you. Clarify the um, four of wands. Clarify the four of wands for my scorpion. Oh, look at that. This just flew out. Yeah, someone from your past. Someone from, you miss someone from your past. You miss someone from your past here. You think about this person. You think about this person a lot. But I feel like the universe is calling upon you to do to change before you can reach to anyone because someone in here is doing healing works. You know what I'm saying and with the three of swords here. All right, Scorpio. Yeah, you have to put. You're gonna have to put an end to this situation in order to begin any situation, another one. But I feel like you are patiently waiting here. But, um, can we clarify the six of materials in the reverse? Yes, I've kind of figured that much out. A third party. So you are in a. You are in a three-party relationship but there's no giving and receiving there's no giving in especially financially and stuff like that you know it's almost feel like someone and stuff is um uh, i'm trying not to say it i am trying not to i am trying not to say it. someone is seeing you know they, they could be you could be used and not even see it because all someone have to do it like you know butter up you with some butter Clarify the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's not going to be... Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Four of Swords. Because someone like I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, whatever the Three of Cups here and stuff, someone say, I'm not doing nothing. Whatever the Three three Party, they're like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm going to do some healings. Five of Materials. Five of materials and the page of materials. So this is someone that, you know, that you might feel left out in the cold by page of material coming towards you. And, you know, whatever the situation you are in, we're going to leave it like this. You're going to feel like this is a burden. <laughs> someone offer you because if this person had felt like left out in the cold by you or you felt left out in the cold by them. So what you do is that you offer this person some type of stability. Okay, yes, we can be together. You know, we're going to be together. But the thing is that what I'm feeling for you, you're going to feel like this is a burden for you. And that's when they, um, because this person is like, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. Then you're going to be like, what? So you're going to feel like this is a burden. And someone is going to feel left out in the cold. And the death card is going to be, you're going to try to transform this situation. But we live, we learn. Because this person is someone and he feel like you are the wish. You are the star. Yeah, they're asking someone here to do the work, especially spiritual work. You definitely got need to do some spiritual work here, uh, Scorpio. That's what I'm feeling for you. 
doing you need to do some healing works in order for you to see any progress period yeah look at that forgiving learning you're gonna have to forgive someone or someone is going to have to forgive you but this is what you know forgive is an understanding in women's and connection you're gonna realize that whatever this is and stuff like that it was a huge lesson and it's you know for you and you're gonna be understanding having this type of understanding that was a huge lesson for you to learn whether you wanted to learn it or not you see this is you right here, Scorpio. Transformation. So you're going to try to transform yourself after this. Transform this situation to what it's supposed to be. But you need to do some healing works. Period. I got to go, guys. The time is was for the new moon. Just checking. And it's like, wow, this energy is like, like so crazy. People have no idea who they're dealing with behind this because everybody wearing a facade and a mask. And you can even see it. Not even the COVID mask. They add more masks on top of the COVID mask. I got to go scope you. I love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.